guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Autumn, Max, and Sang. So today we are reviewing an Integrity toy doll. Um, this is Total Betty Ayumi N from the Reckless New Face line. Say that Quite five a... times fast. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, so this is the first time we are reviewing an Integrity doll on our channel. So if you're not familiar with what these are, um, Essentially, so yeah, they're a company, um, I, for the longest time I assumed they were affiliated with like Mattel or Barbie for some reason, um, because some of the face molds might like remind you of high-end Barbie face molds, but they're a completely separate company. Um, they produce high-end fashion dolls ranging in size from 12 to 16 inches, um, under, they have a number of, of like, brands within, um, you know, the company, which include, uh, you might have heard of some other series such as Fashion Royalty, Poppy Parker, Tula Bell is one of the upcoming ones that has a new wave as well. Um, they've partnered with, um, you know, really iconic brands like Hasbro's Gem and the Holograms, Fox's American Horror Story, among some others. Um, these are very expensive dolls. <laughs> they're very high end, so they're very pricey. This particular one is um, $140 before tax. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, generally speaking, the Integrity dolls will cost a from ranging from a low of $75, which, good luck finding one that costs that low. <laughs> Maybe when they first came out. I mean, they yeah. they definitely raised their prices in recent years, yeah. but yeah. Or a high of 150 to 200 yeah. yeah. Or even some of them are higher. Like There's some like mm -hmm. gift sets that are like 250 or something. Yeah. But yeah, so today we were reviewing Ayumi N, and um, she's part of the Reckless Collection. So, a little background history on the New Face dolls. Um, they are, according to the website, young, edgy, and fashionable. Um, so, they're a bit more of a hip line. Um, yeah. So, um, I mean, yeah, they each line usually is, you know, designed by a subgroup of people or a one designer and one of the most like one of their famous designers is Jason Wu who was, was hired by the company to design dolls when he was 17 yeah. and he's now making clothes for Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. So I guess yeah they've Integrity has apparently they've partnered with um, some very prominent um, fashion designers so um, so yeah a lot of the you know you're gonna see a lot of high fashion on these dolls. Well back to Ayumi so this is Ayumi's box. Um, this is what she is packaged in, and um, she comes in a shipper box. It's like a really nice shoe box. <laughs> yeah, it's a shoe box. <laughs> yeah, these are what they're shipped in, and uh, the only thing different from like a normal like shipping box has uh, a barcode on there, the UPC, and her name, and you know, even the box is like supposedly like pretty coveted too. Well, they're really nice because they're so, I feel like they're so easy to store. Yeah. They're so like these really slim, like flat boxes. They'd yeah. be really easy to just like hide away somewhere that like doesn't take up a lot of space. And yeah. they're well protected in that box. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, so when you open mm -hmm. it out of the shipper box or whatever, um, she has another box that's inside. Yeah, so the box itself is very basic. But yeah, she comes in a nice, clean black box with a, the um, logo um, kind of gloss on there. And the interior, that's just, is it like cardboard, pretty yeah, much? The it's cardboard. White, white cardboard, yeah. Yeah. So, unlike Monster High, these dolls, um, mm -hmm. generally speaking, are tied down by ribbons rather than plastic. So, you can actually just put them back in. I love that about these dolls. And a lot of the female dolls, I don't know if all of them do, all the female integrity dolls, they come mm -hmm. with hair nets in the packaging. Yeah, they definitely like to protect the hair. <clears throat> all right, so you peel her out. And what's this? Oh. What's this? What's this? Paper. <laughs> so I guess my number, oops, here we go. My number is 235 out of 600. They pick someone with messier handwriting. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think about a stupid question. Are they, are they all handwritten? Yeah. All right, so in the back here, you got little ribbons, which you use to uh, loosen up the dolls and take her out. So, 
so, is like an element of added fanciness that like makes you sad because you're like, ah, do I want to throw all the ribbons away? Mm -hmm. I kept all my ribbons. Yeah, you want to <laughs> tie her back in. So down here, this black thing is her stand. So you, this part you have to cut out. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back. The stand came out. The stand has a new <laughs> face at the bottom of the corner. Um, so, with the ribbons untied, she can slip out. Um, but the first things first, I think she's tied down at the bottom too. First things first, she's the realist. <laughs> All right, so we have the boxer. And in the front, front compartment, um, and this thing is, and you slide it out, and it's all her accessories, plus another, oh, goodbye. Um, <laughs> plus another pair of hands, if you want to change it up. And she has a cute little purse. Are the hands in a different pose? Uh, yeah. And then jewelry and her shoes. So we're gonna put those on really quick. All right, so here is Ayumi up close. <laughs> so just to, just to talk about how painful getting to this process was. This is live footage of us attempting to put the necklace on this doll. Yeah, you okay, need, you up need higher, to... upper? It higher? There we go. Like... And then... I feel like we did downwards. Delicate procedure. <laughs> it requires... Okay, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So, her accessories are so tiny. <laughs> I... This is, this is definitely not meant for kids. Um, so, we just spent the last, like, 20 minutes trying to put her choker on. <laughs> and it broke. <laughs> the class broke. The cl So what we did was we kind of like sewed it sewed together. It together. <laughs> yeah, so her choker was very painful. Um, and um, I know some people, what they did was they put they, uh, they um, put the choker together and took it off her head and then slid it onto her. We're not, we're not, we're not ready for that. No, no. <laughs> You're gonna put your integrity doll in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> and then for our earrings, what we did was we loosened it up with a um, push pin, dump yeah. Tack, yeah. Dump that, tack, whatever. We loosened it up and then uh, we slid those uh, earrings in. So Ayumi, this, I believe this is the third Ayumi um, that Integrity Toys um, have made. Um, so she is actually on a darker skin tone than the original Ayumi, the two past two releases. So she looks more ethnic. And me and Max were talking about how she looks like um, Chrissy Teigen. Yes. Yeah, she looks oh, like yeah, Chris, totally. she looks like Chrissy Teigen. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I think she's very attractive, and Ayumi is very pretty. Ayumi's face is sporting this lovely peony shade of lipstick on her very full lips. She has a very shallow Cupid's bow and it gives her a very luscious look and I love it. Um, she has some smoky eyeshadow and very well manicured eyebrows and rooted eyelashes. And she's got a slight amount of blush on each cheek but it's very subtle. And unlike um, Monster High, it's like it looks like it was actually brushed on. Yeah. For sure airbrushed on. Yeah. <laughs> um, she has pearl earrings and big ol' hoops because obviously that's her style. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and this really pretty pearl encrusted choker which looks like in real life it would be worth thousands of dollars. So <laughs> yes. You know that she's she's worth it. And her hair is in a pretty I don't know if there's a real term for this, but I would call it a rainbow bun because it just arches mm -hmm. perfectly on top of her head. It reminds me of, um, what's that? Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. It's like if she Audrey had like a yeah. tiara up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. And her hair is like this sandy brown color. But yeah, it shines really well, so it doesn't look like <clears throat> static, really. I like that her eyes aren't totally centered. She kind of has like this off, looking off to the left kind of look. Mm -hmm. It's very, you know, seductive. It's, very, yeah. it's funny, her her outfit and makeup are very modern, but um, her hair is very old Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So, for Ayumi's outfit, she has a very <laughs> um, 
modest cut tank top. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, it, it has little buckles in the back for that touch of high fashion. And it's also low backed. And it's completely removable with a couple clasps there. It's just a solid black. Um, usually she's wearing a coat over this, so I don't think her tank top's supposed to be like the main attraction, but it's still cute. Spaghetti straps. Her skirt, I don't, I don't know what to call this, but it's a, a leather beige skirt with um, lacing up the front. And I like how it has like a fake uh, zipper here. I mean, it's real zipper, but you're not supposed to use it. But it's like what she would use to um, take her skirt off. But she, there's an actual zipper that you can use in the back if you want to take her clothes off. One thing about her that's amazing, no Velcro. No Velcro. Yeah, the whole thing with integrity clothing, there's, yeah, nothing's like, you know, one piece where you wouldn't expect it to be your velcro everything it's like it's it's miniature real authentic clothing yeah <clears throat> and um on each side she has these slits that uh open up and show off her thigh with um black bands on the inside it's very cool very daring <laughs> mm. beautiful mm -hmm. um and she also has this adorable pink leather or probably leather uh but it's in like a graffiti type pattern so and also opens up and there's um uh, um magnets here so it stays close mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we love that so <laughs> and she also has a <clears throat> giant pearl ring i mean this looks pretty clunky it's yeah it's a little big it's the only problem is it could slide off that's mm -hmm. the crummy thing and it know? has slid and off. it has yes. slid off but <laughs> that, yeah that's the one flaw with like if when you use when you know when clothing and accessories are structured on dolls the exact same way as they are on humans certain aspects of it are not very practical mm -hmm. and they're kind of difficult to work with when you're like putting them on and moving things around ayumi has painted Silver fingernails. And toenails. And guess we should have shown you her socks. socks. <laughs> I was just gonna say. But she has <laughs> like knee high socks. Um, that is a, a thin um, white fabric. So be careful about it getting caught in anything and damaging it. <clears throat> she has high top, high heeled leather black boots. And with a uh, actual laces that, that you, you have actually have to tie yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> you had to loosen them first and then slit her feet in and, and then tie them the best we could i'm really curious how people legitimately do this like who have a ton of integrity dolls like do they have like a method to like these teeny tiny laces and necklaces and like, well, yeah, i'm guessing a pair of pliers and two and a tweezers yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> pretty basic, but after as loud as the rest of her outfit's been, I think it's a good touch of yeah. subtlety, mm. so. So, part two of her outfit, she comes with a giant... Jacket. Yes. Um, I don't know what kind of jacket it is. It's kind of, it reminds me of a windbreaker meets just a fur coat. Mm -hmm. Um, the fur comes in three sections on both sides, upper arm, uh, forearm, and booty. And it's really lush and deluxe and we love it. So fluffy. The the zipper in the middle actually does work, but it's kind of a lot of effort to make it happen without getting the, the fur stuck in it. And it looks nicer open anyway. Yeah. So, so one of the fun. promo pictures I like was her like with this like down Ooh, I'm feeling yeah. that. Like a little I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Provocative. <laughs> it's oversized, which gives her a really cute look. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those like coats that you kind of, when you put it together, you can't see anything underneath. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, bam! Like yeah. <laughs> and her coat actually uh, comes with a tag that says IT on it for integrity toys. Mm -hmm. The small little details on her. So I guess this is a good time to talk about her articulation. Um, she is very articulated. Um, she comes uh, articulated at the neck. So she could bend forward, back and forth, um, side to side. She has a breast joint that she removes left to right, back and forth. 
Um, she has shoulder joints that connect to your arms, um, elbow joints, she has wrist joints, she has crotch joints. I don't think that's the technical <laughs> name for them. <laughs> what do you call them? Thigh joints? Nay nay joints. I don't her, know what her butt looks like. Probably oh, thigh, probably just thigh joints. That swivel one yeah. that Guliope has. Mm -hmm. So swivel joints at the top of her thighs then. Yep, and then mm -hmm. uh, knees. Um, she does not have ankle joints. That's something that I think Integrity is going to test out on some of their dolls as well in the future. But besides that, she's very poseable. She's probably one of the most poseable dolls besides the Made to Move dolls. Yeah, you can actually bend the arms and the legs back pretty far. So you mm -hmm. can actually, um, even though these are... This is actually where Integrity also stands apart from, um, like, uh, the Disney limited edition dolls. As where those ones, they are articulated, but they're not really intended, you know, to pose a whole lot because you can't move them a ton. These ones are actually very movable. So you can actually put them in all kinds of poses. So it's mm -hmm. really great for photography. So here is her stand. It comes in two pieces. We got the stand portion and then the base. The base has a nice weight to it. It's not hollow. It's, uh, it's pretty uh, sturdy. Um, so you won't have to worry about her tipping over because this is light. And then you just snap this in. And then the thing that Autumn said is that <laughs> she wished this bar right here, this black, uh, this uh, metal bar was sturdier. Um, her uh, integrity stand actually broke right here. Um, this piece right here will pull out, extend, and it's pretty fragile and it's hollow too so I don't know why they have it able to extend as long as it does how high do, you, do they see you displaying this dog? <laughs> right <laughs> she's yeah, flying that is, that is kind of weird now that I think about it I don't yeah know how to do that. yeah and this piece here goes on to her um, crotch and um, it's not very practical in my in my opinion yeah, this doesn't really like hold on them. them yeah they pretty much bounce them those little uh, bits on the sides are supposed to hold her thighs in a little bit but it doesn't really work it's slippery all right it's time for our favorite segment final thoughts and um autumn you're first yeah, it kind of goes without saying at this price point uh integrity dolls are just kind of little pieces of works of art in themselves every little detail in the doll feels very well done um, well manufactured, it doesn't seem sloppy in any sense. Um, it's very interesting how they try to make like real clothes doll scale, like with Monster High and Barbie. It's all Velcro and it's all cutting corners, and it makes sense. It makes it a lot more movable and. Well, you know those dolls are meant to be played with um, for you know kids who you know can toss their dolls around and. Yeah, this kind of doll is you achieve one stance and freeze! Don't touch it! <laughs> Leave her alone. $140, wow. That's steep. <laughs> she's, she's gorgeous. Um, and it's like you really have to just be into the idea because you're not going to find it on sale. No. These don't. These are gone right when they're released, and then they only go up in price. So yeah. it's up to you and your dedication as a doll collector whether or not you justify this purchase. Beautiful to photograph and great to look at. It's the kind of thing that it's really hard for me to justify the price for, but Sane gave me an Integrity doll for my birthday a few years back, and she's probably up there in my favorite dolls in my collection. Just super elegant and fun. The funny thing was, I seen the listing for Ayumi for a long time. Uh, we have a local shop that sells Integrity um, dolls. Um, she's uh, actually the owner. Actually, is a authorized dealer, so it's really cool. Um, so we got her. Yeah, that's how you have to buy them. By mm -hmm. the way, we'll put we can put a link in the description about you actually have to like search their site for dealers that have the one you want mm -hmm. available. So it's kind of a cumbersome process, but that's how you have to buy these. <laughs> There's like 20 or so. Yeah. Um, de uh, authorized dealers in the United States mm -hmm. and a few in Canada and in Europe. Wait, 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 wait. The, that lady that we shop at, she's one of 20? Yes. Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. Yep. In the whole United States. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's right in our backyard. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy. She's the only mm -hmm. one in North America, uh, North California. Northern California, North, she's yeah. the only one. Yeah. 
wow. so it's crazy so yeah you have to I uh, guess yeah the dealer sells these dolls for standard price they you know they get them directly from um, integrity toys so it's it's crazy like, you know I saw her on the website and like mm, no she's cute it's expensive but in person she's gorgeous and I've seen people take pictures of her and they're amazing and I what drew me to her was her outfit I think we mentioned before it's both kind of cute and modest in some sense and then <laughs> BAM <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, she's very versatile. And, you know, that's what I look in dolls is, you know, how versatile they are and high fashion. I feel like $140 is a lot for a doll, but what you're actually getting is, it's worth the price. You know, it's only $600 are made. Everything's to scale and there's no corners being cut. You definitely, by feeling her and seeing her, she definitely feels like a high-end doll. So definitely if you're into photography, these are great dolls to uh, take pictures of. If you're not, you know, they're great display dolls too. Sang technically has, Sang has a couple Integrity dolls now. I've more recently been bitten by the Integrity bug. I, um, I got my first one recently, was one of the, you know, the My Little Pony line, and I just very recently bought a new one. Um, and you know, it's it's really nice because as adult collectors, you know, we're in a little bit of an odd demographic where, um, you know, obviously a lot of these, you know, doll brands out there, they have pretty large, you know, like cult followings of people who are not children, but obviously a lot of these brands, they do not cater to us. They don't cater to adult collectors. But what's really nice about, you know, brands like Integrity is, you know, this these are lines of dolls intended for us like they are you know they're targeting adult collectors people who want to um, photograph these dolls who want to display these dolls who want to um, who appreciate you know detail and high fashion and you know those kind of things um, so I think if those are things that are very important to you then integrity is definitely something you should look into um, this particular doll I think you know I think she's really gorgeous um, I think it's I felt like when I first saw her, it's hard to appreciate her detail up until you see just how many, you know, layers and accessories and details are, are underneath that jacket, <laughs> you know. Um, she actually struck me as just not a whole lot going on to me at first and just was kind of outside my taste, but seeing her in person um, with all these, yeah, all these different layers and so much detail and real accessories and real clothing. Um, some of the little, yeah, I mean, we kind of mentioned it's like, I, it's very impractical. A lot of like the teeny tiny laces and hooks and, you know, stuff you have to deal with. Um, that, that would drive me nuts really quickly if I had, you know, like a bunch of Integrity dolls. But, which, yeah, kind of ties into a larger thing with Integrity dolls in general is, yeah, as Autumn said, um, 140 plus is very 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 expensive for dolls um, so you know I'm kind of of the opinion for this kind of price point um, I mean even like you know even like Disney designer dolls like are not this expensive generally speaking so um, it's yeah I would definitely say the average person unless you've got like really money to burn or if this is like the primary line you know you're going for um, it's probably you would want to prioritize the ones you like the most. Honestly, in most aspects, I think you do, for the most part, you get what you pay for. You know, yeah, it is, it's, you know, it's real clothing, real quality, and again, as we mentioned earlier, like, these are fashions designed by actual legitimate, you know, fashion designers, so, yeah, I would say if you have a taste for luxury and high fashion, then definitely check these out. Alright, thank you for checking out our review of <laughs> Integrity Toys New Face Reckless collection, total Betty, <laughs> Ayumi, N. Okay, I'm not gonna try to repeat that. <laughs> Thanks uh, for joining us, and you know, let us know if you want us to review 
other Integri toys. We're accumulating quite a few yeah, right now. A couple and two more coming in <laughs> yeah. late spring. Early so uh, let us know and you know, let us know, you know if you have any and your opinion on these dolls. And, and how to put on their necklaces if you have. <laughs> tell us stories, horror stories. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Bye.